Have you ever wondered why the Earth is sinking in the Arctic region? It's a curious phenomenon that has scientists, environmentalists and governments around the globe scratching their heads. The Arctic, a once frozen wonder, is experiencing a strange and somewhat alarming transformation. The Earth, our home, appears to be sinking. As the temperatures rise, the permafrost thaws and the ice melts, the land seems to be giving way, sinking into itself. This is more than just a geographical oddity. It's a clear and present signal of the changes happening on our planet. Changes that are not only transforming landscapes but also impacting ecosystems, wildlife and even our climate. Understanding this phenomenon is not just a matter of scientific curiosity, it's an urgent necessity. A necessity that could hold the key to our future and the planet's survival. So, are you ready to uncover this chilling mystery? Now let's dive into the world of melting ice and sinking earth. Arctic, a region of mystic beauty and frozen wonders, holds a deeper mystery beneath its icy surface. This vast white wilderness, stretching across the top of our globe, is a unique environment like no other. Its icy landscapes are home to a myriad of wildlife, from the majestic polar bear to the elusive Arctic fox. The Arctic's ice is not just a habitat, it's a global climate regulator. The white ice reflects sunlight back into space, cooling our planet. It also acts as a colossal freezer, storing vast quantities of carbon that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere. However, this frozen wonder is undergoing dramatic changes. With every passing year, the Arctic ice is thinning and shrinking, a haunting testament to our warming world. But it's not just the wildlife that's affected. The indigenous people of the Arctic, who have thrived in harmony with nature for thousands of years, are witnessing their ancestral homelands transform before their eyes. The melting ice is also unlocking the Arctic's vast resources, inviting a new wave of human activity. From oil drilling to shipping lanes, the Arctic is becoming a new frontier for global commerce. But with this comes a burden of responsibility to protect this fragile ecosystem. But the Arctic is not just melting, it's sinking, let's see how. Scientifically speaking, the sinking of the Earth in the Arctic is a phenomenon called subsidence. This term might sound complex but let's break it down. Subsidence refers to the motion of a surface as it shifts downward, relative to a datum such as sea level. In simpler terms, imagine standing on a deflating balloon. As the air escapes, you start to sink. That's what's happening to the Earth in the Arctic region. Now what's causing this balloon to deflate? The answer lies in the heart of the Arctic, the permafrost. This perennially frozen soil layer forms the structural backbone of our polar regions. However, as our planet warms due to climate change, this permafrost thaws. As it thaws, it releases not only the trapped greenhouse gases, but also the structural integrity it once provided. The ground above, without support, starts to sink. This is known as thermokarst subsidence, but there's more to it. The Arctic region is warming twice as fast as the global average. This rapid thawing of permafrost accelerates subsidence. The resulting sinkholes or drunken forests as they are colloquially known, are clear indicators of this phenomenon. Furthermore, the melting of glaciers and ice caps adds to the mix. As these massive ice bodies melt, the colossal weight they once placed on the Earth's crust is lifted. This causes the crust to rise in a process known as isostatic rebound. However, this rebound isn't uniform. Some areas rise while others ironically sink further, exacerbating the subsidence. But why should we care about a sinking Arctic? The consequences are far-reaching. It's not just about the loss of unique ecosystems or the displacement of indigenous communities. The release of trapped greenhouse gases from thawing permafrost amplifies global warming. It's a vicious cycle, each factor feeding into the other, speeding up the process. The sinking Earth isn't an isolated problem, it's a global concern. This isn't just about the Arctic sinking. It's about the planet we call home, and the future we're shaping. The sinking Earth is not just a phenomenon happening far away in the Arctic, it has implications for us all. Our planet is an interconnected system and changes in one area can ripple out to affect the entire globe. This is especially true for the Arctic, often referred to as our planet's air conditioner. Its icy landscapes reflect sunlight, helping to cool the Earth. But as the ground sinks and ice melts, less sunlight is reflected back into space, and more is absorbed by the Earth's surface, leading to a warmer planet. This warming trend has far-reaching consequences. One of the most significant is the rise in sea levels. As the Arctic ice melts, it adds to the volume of the world's oceans. This increase, combined with the expansion of seawater as it warms, is causing sea levels to rise. 
Coastal cities around the world from New York to Shanghai are already grappling with the effects of this phenomenon, including increased flooding and erosion. But the implications don't stop there. Changes in the Arctic are also affecting our weather. As the region warms, it disrupts atmospheric and oceanic currents. This disruption can lead to extreme weather patterns, such as severe storms, heat waves, and cold snaps, in places that used to have more predictable climates. Finally, we must consider the impact on wildlife. The Arctic is home to a rich diversity of species, from polar bears to Arctic foxes, seals to migratory birds. As the ice melts and the ground sinks, these animals are losing their habitats. Some species may adapt to these changes, but others may struggle to survive. This could lead to a decline in biodiversity, affecting the balance of our ecosystems. The sinking earth in the Arctic is not just an isolated event, it's a global issue that touches every aspect of our lives, from the weather we experience to the cities we live in, to the wildlife we share this planet with. But there is hope. By understanding the implications of this phenomenon, we can work towards solutions that mitigate its effects and protect our planet for future generations. It's not too late, we can still make a difference. The question now is, what can we do to mitigate these effects and prevent further sinking? As we face the daunting reality of a sinking Arctic, it's natural to feel overwhelmed. But there's hope. The solutions lie within our grasp, and each one of us holds the power to make a difference. First and foremost, we can aim to reduce our carbon emissions. Carbon dioxide, a potent greenhouse gas, is a significant contributor to global warming. By switching to renewable energy sources, improving energy efficiency, and adopting more sustainable transportation methods, we can reduce our carbon footprint and slow the warming of our planet. Promoting sustainable practices is another crucial step. This goes beyond recycling or composting, although those are important actions. It's about rethinking our consumption patterns, choosing products with less packaging, reducing food waste, and supporting businesses that prioritize sustainability. We can also use our voices to demand action, engaging with our local communities, advocating for environmental policies, and voting for leaders committed to tackling climate change can all have a profound impact. Investing in climate research is also paramount. Understanding the complexities of our changing climate is essential to developing effective strategies. Scientists, engineers, and innovators around the world are working tirelessly to find new ways to counteract the effects of global warming. By funding their work and valuing their insights, we can accelerate the pace of progress. Lastly, education is key. The more we understand about our climate and the ways in which our actions impact it, the better equipped we'll be to make informed decisions and inspire others to do the same. Each of these strategies offers a piece of the solution. But remember, it's not just about what we can do as individuals. It's about what we can achieve when we work together, when we combine our efforts and unite in the face of this global challenge. Together, we can turn the tide and save our sinking Earth. Now that we understand why the Earth is sinking in the Arctic, it's time to act. We've seen the science, understood the global implications, and explored how we can make a difference. But knowledge is only power when it leads to action. The Arctic doesn't have to remain a distant, icy abstraction. You can bring it closer to home by spreading awareness. Talk to your friends, family, neighbors, and co-workers. Share the reality of what's happening and why it matters. Reducing your carbon footprint also plays a crucial role. Consider how you travel, how you eat, how you heat your home, and how you consume generally. Small changes in these areas can yield significant results. Supporting climate science research is another vital step. Scientists are the frontline warriors in this battle, and they need our backing. Consider donating to organizations that fund climate studies or advocating for increased governmental research funding. It's easy to feel overwhelmed in the face of such a vast issue, but remember, change doesn't happen overnight. It's a series of small steps taken by many over time. By taking action, we can ensure that the Arctic, and the rest of our beautiful planet, remains a place of wonder for generations to come. Remember, every step counts when it comes to saving our planet. It begins with you.